Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It is November the 9th, 2022. It has gotten chilly. Yesterday it was chilly and windy. Today is chilly. Um, it's about 7 degrees, I guess. 8 degrees, somewhere in that range. It's fall. It's the temperature we're supposed to have. We've just been uh, blessed with 20 degree weather up until this point. And uh, now it's turning into what's probably supposed to be a... Uh, fall tight temperatures. Now I want to show you some things that have arrived in the mail and uh, one that was actually delivered personally but these envelopes all contain postcards that were given to me so I want to show you some of the postcards that uh, have come in. The first one I'm going to show you is this single one. Uh, my sister was in town and uh, her husband picked this one up. Uh, they're from St. John so this is one of the cruise ships that calls St. John home or is that one of the, the ports that comes in there. So that's the single card I got. Now I got this envelope. It came from Shara in uh, British Columbia and she sent me a few postcards. So let me show you these ones here. Here is a University of Manitoba old, you know, very vintage. You can see right from the back how old it is. That was the, that's the arts building in Winnipeg, Canada. I don't even know if this building exists the way it does in this picture anymore, but there's that one. Uh, there's this one from Manitoba, the engine here. Nice train vintage postcard for someone who might be into trains. Uh, Moraine Lake, Banff National Park in Alberta. Get this back in frame, there you go. Nice contrast with the green water, the reflection of the Rocky Mountains above. How about some otters? Some baby otters, pretty cute. For those of you who like recipes, here's a recipe for Texas chili. So world-renowned Texas chili. So they have all these ingredients and things. You can even take a, a still shot of this and get it. Or maybe one of you will get it in the mail one day. Here is another. Uh, this is chili sausage bake and green chili stew. Two different chili recipes. And those look mighty warm, mighty hot. I'm not sure if those are super spicy or not, but sure the chili is delicious. Here's a recipe for chimichangas. I like recipe cards because there are a lot of people out there that love food like me and uh, I don't have very many recipe cards so now I have many. Here's a recipe for guacamole. Great for dips. And you've got your chip you want a little guacamole on there too. Delicious. All right, this one is for Florida orange meringue pie. I've never heard of such a thing. Lemon meringue pie I've had, but I've never had an orange meringue pie. That might not actually be too bad. Oh, one of my favorites though, key lime pie. Oh yeah. I don't know if I've had a key lime pie that's been that green though, that color. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Mine are, tend to be a bit lighter than that. And the last card I got from her, Wonder of the Ages, this card here, these trees, and it says, this scene is uh, often repeated throughout the Redwood Empire, defies adequate description, moss on the fallen redwoods. Yeah, so well, this is in California. And you like how the card's edges are? It's a very vintage card. Well, there we go. Those cards came from Shara. Now, we got two envelopes. The first one is from uh, Wendy here in Canada. And uh, she sent some prepaid cards. So here's a nice raccoon prepaid card. And what I mean by prepaid, there's the postage on the back. This card can be mailed anywhere in the world and we don't need any additional postage for it. This one we've had before. I don't know if I've had it as a prepaid card before, but I have had it as a regular postage card. Nice uh, Head Harbor Lighthouse here in New Brunswick. And then Heartland Covered Bridge, also another prepaid card. It's kind of like a maxi card because the image on the back is the same. This one also, I've had Anna Green Gables House before, but not as a prepaid card. And Atlantic Puffins. 
for those of you who like birds or puffins or what have you there we go another prepaid so those ones are great i really like those because they are prepaid now i'm a stamp guy so i prefer to uh, get stamps and receive stamps but when i'm mailing out cards if there is an option for someone who doesn't really mind whether or not they have real stamps on it or not those are great and it saves me money so all right and then uh wendy sent another envelope on these are actually from heather's uh friend of of wendy's and um her sister had some cards and heard about me so i guess sent them on knew heather was collecting some postcards too for me so we got these ones we got this card a whitby you guys are familiar with whitby in england we have a winter rail image we've got the old course in st andrews in scotland very famous bridge there leading up to the 18th hole at the um, 18th green in front of the clubhouse i did get a chance to walk that once and here we have the castle howard beautiful castle car for those like castles this is a little fry up dale near dansby North Landing in Flamborough. So I'm guessing at one point someone had a trip or a book um, that was about uh, the English countryside that had these postcards in it. And the reason I say that is because this one here, you can see how the edge has been perforated and that uh, wasn't torn out properly, so I can just clear that off. But here we have Robin Hood's Bay. daffodils and the spring blossoms in Langton so there you have it those are the cards that were sent to me this past week so I want to thank uh, Heather and Heather's sister and Wendy and Shara and Carolyn and the new um, thanks for all the cards they're going to go well into the uh, tower back there where I keep all my blank postcards. And I may have to start uh, looking at ways to sort them by images and things. I've had some great suggestions of how I should go about doing that. Um, right now, I kind of have a general idea where things are. And when people say they want lighthouses or dogs, or I kind of go through and try to find that section. Sometimes I end up going through almost all the cards before I find the one that I think is the right one. Because um, you start to forget about some of the cards you had. And it's kind of fun just kind of looking at the images again. And sometimes an image pops into my head that is recent. Someone might be into ships. And so this card goes out next week because I remember that ship that came through. And uh, other people, sometimes someone might say, I like Anna Green Gables. So there's an Anna Green Gables card. Other times they might say they like purple flowers. I have no idea if I have a card that has purple flowers on it. So I go through them all and look and see if there's one that, that fits that specific need. Uh, if it doesn't, maybe it, one of the other cards I go by fits another need that they said they like too. So that's how I go about doing it now. I may have to look at uh, other ways as this card collection grows. Uh, I'm hoping that I can uh, be sending out many cards and it will thin it out a little bit. But thanks to your generosity out there, you guys keep sending me cards you keep sending me stickers or washi tape uh, i appreciate it it helps decorate more cards it helps send me send out more cards i just gotta find the postage to mail them all that's the, the tricky part right now so hopefully you guys have a magical week like follow you say like subscribe share and tell all your friends who's a good boy who's a good boy